Hey guys, welcome back to 59 Gaming. It is your boy, the Masked Ningen. And so the other day there were leaks that the next Dokon Fest on JP was going to be Baby Vegeta. So as we often do, we put out a form for you guys to make your own fan-made cards for this, the next episode of the fan-made card series. Now, unfortunately, just as the video was uh, about to be ready to drop, it was revealed that this information was unfortunately not accurate and the next Dokon Fest is of course Super Vegeta. Now his details have been announced already so it is too late for us to do a fan made cards for him. But we did a video explaining the situation uh, with the leaks and everything and a lot of you guys in the comments said you still wanted to see the baby fan made cards video. So since a whole lot of you replied with your fan made cards we didn't want to scrap the video completely so here it is. So let us go in and see your fan made cards. Maybe baby will get a Dokon Fest one day but let us go ahead and see what you guys came up with. Vegeta. Wait, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. Bro, y'all remember that annoying voice that, that that particular character had? Look, listen, we're not, we're not here about that. What is good, y'all? It is your boy, Sider Roger. We're back at it again. One of the fan made cards provided by one of you lucky individuals that support and rep the Find Out Gaming channel. Remember, your love is always appreciated. We got a freaking Super Baby uh, coming to the game, or just a baby card in general from the GT saga. Everybody knows that we definitely needed one. But uh, uh, Brave Blitz. About to see what you uh did to this card today to make it uh, a little bit a uh, little bit saucy, like you know, <laughs> what you gonna be bringing to the table? But uh, before we really get started, on that hey, you already hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notifications when they upload to the YouTube channel. Cause if you haven't, you kind of messing up. Go ahead, and just do that real quick. Do it. It's not. It does. It takes two clicks. That's it. But let's get right on into it. First of all, you got it as tech. I agree. We got the N1. We got the AGL1. The N1, hopefully, later on down the line, we'll get an easy A. And the AGL1, it's okay. Definitely needs better units to support it, you, you know? Uh, oh, you have this as GT bosses and human deeds. Uh, key plus three, so 170% HP and attack, plus 150% defense. You probably worded that really weird. That seems really, really high. Could have just gone 150, 170 across the board. Either or would have worked. But having it, GT bosses and human deeds, and human deeds definitely need that help. Uh, Revenge Final Flash. Immense damage and raises defense for one turn and a medium chance of a critical hit. Okay. No complaints there. Uh, I'm guessing he's going to have like an effect against Pierce Sands units because why wouldn't he? Uh, effective mind and attack and defense was 140% and starter turn GT bosses and human deeds key plus two and 40% attack and defense if they're facing a Pure Sands, Hybrid Sands, or GT Heroes enemy changes random key source attack. Okay, so he's going to self support himself as well and that means he's going to be hitting Pure Sands, Hybrid Sands, or GT units really, really hard. Inhuman deeds, man, terrifying conquerors. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, active skill, uh, uh, unit super entrenchment. Okay, active skill attack. Giant ape dash great ape gallic gun. Massive, massively raises attack and typically causes ultimate damage to the enemy. Rotation gains 100, uh, almost at 100. 44% uh, damage reduction conditions is if the team has two or more GT bosses on the team can be activated at any time. Okay, no complaints there. Uh, being a, I don't know. See, is that is that going to be like a, like the the GT uh, Vegeta, the end one, the one that just came. Is it going to be like something like that? Like animation wise, is this going to be like a complete transformation? Um, uh, of course, your link starts for conquest, metal warfaces, big bad bosses, GT, uh, hatred of the sands, fear of faith, fierce battle. No complaints there. Got all the primary links that are needed. Big bad bosses, thirst for conquest, metal warfaces, and fear of faith. We already know. Uh, categories GT bosses, corroded body and mind, and human deeds, of course. Uh, graded power, transformation boost, artificial life form, terrifying congress, targeting Goku, final trump card, dash last resort, revenge, space traveling warriors. All uh, right, man, look, space traveling warriors, transformation boost, artificial life form, corroded body mind, and human human deeds. These teams are going to be extremely, extremely strong. Like, with just, just with that alone, because of the units that are already built within those teams. The team that I'm looking more... Um, most for is definitely in human deeds because in human deeds is just a little bit lackluster it needs more units for it especially when it comes to the lead because you know we have the uh that one lead uh lr napa and vegeta you know they're just a little bit outdated they can be ran on the team they're still a really good unit but they need a we just need a whole better lead for that team and this can probably be that unit uh brave blitz cars looking nice looking a little bit saucy but uh we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one Hello, 5'9 Gamers. 
it's Minato here, and we're taking a look at, of course, as the video, of course, states basically, uh, your Dokkan Fest baby fan made card ideas. So, this one is made by Dogoman underscore S. Uh, thank you for your submission, along with everyone else. And let's just hop right into it. So, um, Dokkan Fest baby Vegeta. I actually really do like Baby Vegeta. He's probably, I would say, my favorite GT villain personally. Um, I just really like the concept behind him, and although the execution itself wasn't the greatest thing ever, obviously, um, I'm always going to be hyped for Baby Vegeta. So he starts off as just Baby Vegeta right here. His typing for the unit is STR. Now, I don't feel this is, honestly, for me, I feel like any typing could be really good. STR actually is technically a typing with the least amount of options if we if you look at the GT uh, Bosses category itself it has like two units which is STR Omega and STR Rildo Which honestly those two units are probably the better ones in the category But if we're talking about like what kind of units you could use especially with like future EZAs and stuff STR definitely is lacking just a little bit behind here, but yeah um, I think STR is a fine choice Especially, you know, Baby is a type unit that has Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, so he'll work well with all those other STR units. Um, his leader go, he gave him Final Trump Card or in Inhuman Deeds category, Key 3, and HP Attack and Defense plus 150%. Now with Baby, it's I'd say it's difficult to come up with like a can of leader go for him. Um, Final Trump Card or Inhuman Deeds, neither of them have gotten like a real new category leader in a long time and human deeds doesn't actually have like a real 150 percent plus and final trump card definitely getting a villain version of that with baby as a leader could be very nice for sure um because you know final trump card has like turles and all those type of units on there you know that could definitely have a very solid villain basis for the team so he has three super tag effects, of course, because uh, he's actually he has three forms right here. Baby Vegeta, Super Baby 1, and Super Baby 2. A lot of people are thinking it's going to be a transforming baby, and I feel like that's definitely very likely here. So uh, let's just go off just normal Baby Vegeta. Gallic Gun, but his Big Bang Attack. Um, he raises attack and defense and causes immense damage to the enemy. So just, you know, plain stacker causes immense damage. Good, you know, <laughs> you can't really get anything wrong with that. His uh, passive skill is attack and defense plus 120% at the start of turn. He has a medium chance of performing a critical hit, which will be a 30% chance. And then he transforms when conditions are met. If you look right here at the first transformation, he transforms starting from the third turn from the start of battle. So basically, like Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks, uh, Exchange Boo, uh, Tech Trunks, and Zamasu, those type of units. that just transform for the third turn and also have the second transformation here. Um, yeah, so I mean, honestly, this is, a, I would say, a little plain, but when it comes to these triple transforming units, honestly, their base forms are always kind of plain, so I think this is very realistic if it's like a triple form type of unit. Uh, the medium chance of performing a crit is nice, and, you know, just solid stats, honestly. Um, but most of the time, you'll probably see this guy, especially in, like, longer term events, you'll see this guy a lot of the time. Um, so this is Super Baby 1. His super attack effect, he still stacks attack and defense and causes immense damage. So basically the same here, still keeping the stacking, which is very nice. He gives himself key 2 and attack and defense plus 140% at the starter turn. He gets an additional 30% attack and defense when he's attacking a pure Saiyans category enemy. And he has a medium chance of performing a critical hit for 3 turns. So now what I think this last one is, is actually a mechanic that's not really brought back too often from what I'm seeing. Um, I'm presuming it's just like how Namek Goku's guard would work. So say if Namek Goku gets his guard off, um, he gets a guaranteed for that turn and then the next turn for 3 turns in total. So I believe if Baby's critical hit does activate right here um from his passive then he gets a guaranteed crit on the following turn as well which is very powerful that's for sure um i'm not sh i believe i'm not sure if it's like i don't I i'm presuming it's not the first three turns because this one is just permanent right here so i'm presuming it's, again it's like the nama goku effect where once he gets that crit off from his passive the next turn is also a guaranteed crit which is something very nice to have Obviously, because, you know, it's a 30% chance proc it, which is not that worst thing ever. It's like, if you give a unit, like, 15 crit from their super attack, uh, or, like, a physical unit would have, like, 15 crit usually. Uh, it's basically the same thing as here, but then also you would get a guaranteed crit. The additional 30% attack and defense is nice, finding a pure Saiyans category enemy. It would be multiplicative on top of this. 
and also give him the two key uh basically will just help in general i mean you know to give himself two key just the easier it is to super attack um better it would be though i don't think this baby will necessarily have problems with key based on his links um but it's very nice to have so super baby two here uh, you can transform into super baby two through an active scope it's able to be activated from the third turn from the start of battle when HP is 60% or above, or when facing a pure Saiyans category enemy. So, essentially, I believe what this is, is you have obviously have to transform into Super Baby 1 first, in order to use the second transformation active skill. Um, you could use it the same turn as long as you have above 60% HP, or if you're below that 60% HP, you, you could still use it as long as you're facing a pure Saiyan category enemy, which, you know, pure Saiyan category enemy, um, <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys know, but that's pretty easy to activate, honestly, so, I mean, not bad at all. I definitely like this active skill condition. And he transforms into Super Baby 2, so now he gets, this is where he's like big, big boy mode right here. So he gets key 3 and attack and defense plus 160%, pretty big number. Uh, he also guards against all attacks at the start of turn. So, I mean, me personally, I love my guard units, Janemba, Attack Ultimate, Gohan, units that guard. It just adds so much value to their kit. Like, you could just throw them in any, like, event and honestly, they're fine because it doesn't matter what type they're against, their guard is going to help them. Uh, especially in difficult content like if you think of like the god event where all 10 of those stages this since this guy guards he could realistically be using all 10 of those stages with this high defensive stat and again giving him the three keys nice he gets an additional key three and attacking defense plus 40 percent when he's attacking a pure same category enemy so this actually reminds me of the imp broly um imp broly only gets 18 percent but he, he it's when he's facing a pure or hybrid saiyan this guy gets three key leg rolling and an additional 40 percent attacking defense when it's just a pure saiyan category enemy again very like <laughs> very easy to activate obviously feeding a pure saiyan category enemy especially as an extreme class unit um and really it's a very just good thing 40 percent multiplicative right here and honestly just fits what baby is baby hates saiyans that's really all there is to it he has a high chance of performing a critical hit and a medium chance of performing an additional super for five turns after he transforms so he loses like technically the possible chance of getting the guarantee career here but you know having five turns for a 30 percent chance of performing an additional super and a still a 50 percent chance to perform a critical hit means like this guy could realistically triple super triple crit on a turn with like 200 percent plus uh, attacking defense and <laughs> one he's also already have been stacking and actually a super attack effect he does still greatly raise attack from one turn and he greatly lowers enemy attack so especially in like in Super Battle Royale, this is not the hardest thing to get, honestly, because you may be thinking, oh, he has an HP above restriction, so in Super Battle Royale, it's not going to be as easy. But, you know, if we look at his teams right here, if we skip down to his teams, he's on Giant Form, Transformation Boost, uh, you know, Revenge. Uh, actually, he's not a category stage in general that actually has that, but, like, a lot of these stages, I believe, like, that have category stages, you know, a decent amount of them, you still fight sane enemies. Like, I know for sure Transformation Boost you do. I believe, um... Terror, no, Terror Friend Conquerors don't have to have one. Actually, he doesn't have too many, <laughs> really. But, like, think of, like, the Kuroda Body in mind, you know, GG Legendary Goku events. Uh, it's not that difficult to, you know, go ahead and get that pure Saiyan thing right here. Um, and, again, even just in Super Battle Road in general, being able to greatly lower the enemy attack three times, because that's not really based on pure Saiyan. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good <laughs> regardless. So this guy's going to be an amazing Super Battle Road unit as well as a very good long event unit because of his defensive stacking. He could transform into Grade A Baby for 2-3 to three turns when HP is 60% or less. So essentially what happens is if you're under the 30 I believe it's just guaranteed when you fall under 60% HP. So even on the same turn, if you're facing a pure Saiyan category enemy and you instantly transform with him, you'll technically, I believe, instantly transform into Grade A Baby as well. Which is pretty good right here. Uh, probably one of the better Grade A in the game, you know, if not the best one. Condition-wise, and, you know, key two and attacks if I can detective against all types, pretty good for a Grade A mode. Because one of the issues of grade 8 modes is that they don't get you know, links or anything like that. So having that additional key 2 would be nice. Uh, only 4 KD super attacks since he's a TUR. 
Amazing Link's set of Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Metamorphosis, GT, Hatred of Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, and Fierce Battle. Basically the same as LR Babies, I believe, except for Fierce Battle, because LR Baby has, you know, meta uh, shattering the limit. But yeah, this card is really good. I love the design. Again, thank you very much for the submission, Doggoman underscore S. And let's move on to the next submission. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Gail Wright here. Of course, we are here with Baby's fan-made cards. I'm glad to be a part of this because, I mean, some of you all know on the 5-9 streams that Baby Vegeta is my favorite villain in the entirety of Dragon Ball. And I'm so looking forward to seeing his Dokkan Fest finally arrive. Getting that partner for LR Baby is going to be super, super exciting. So here we have Clockworks. I had to pick his up. And uh, he's gone for Baby Vegeta, starting off as Baby Vegeta, which I'm very happy about i think that's how he should start off baby vegeta super baby one and then super baby two his typing is int which i kind of see but at the same time don't because i think while we do need an extreme int character i think of course having an existing baby that is int may be something they might not go for i think maybe something like uh extreme agl pretend well, well he, again same situation there extreme tech i don't want it to be because they'll probably make him shit otherwise but extreme uh sgr is the only other option because we just did get janemba so he's extreme fizz and we probably won't get another extreme fizz uh villain uh anytime soon so into or sgr seem to be the best case scenario with tech as a third option i feel i personally so at the end of the day as much as i don't think it'll be int it's a possibility it could also be in Extreme SGR would be fantastic, though, I will admit. Um, the leader skill, Ruler and Servant, Category Key plus 3, HP 130%, Attack and Defense 170%, and Inhuman Deeds, Category HP Attack and Defense 170. Now, I'm curious to see what Clockrock, if he's in, uh, watching this video, leave it in the comment section down below what you would, uh, you know, encompass in Ruler and Servant, because I'd assume it would be the likes of King Vegeta, uh, potentially Lord Frieza, and stuff like that, right? That's what I think, King Cold. Um, I think those would be the characters you'd put in here. I can't see anybody else, which can make that category a bit restricted. But still, really nice uh, idea, I think, uh, there, but needs a lot more expansion. And in Human Days, of course, I think we need uh, a new leader. And finally, we're getting one. Of course, the only other one is Baby Vegeta. Uh, not Baby Vegeta. Um, but uh, Nappa and Vegeta, I should say. Um, so getting a new Inhuman Deeds uh, category leader would be fantastic, but I do believe personally what I'd go for is GT bosses and Inhuman Deeds personally. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, the super attack name and effect. As Baby Vegeta, it's Tuffo Gallic Gun, raises attack and defense infinitely and causes immense damage to the enemy, Super Baby 1. Final Flash greatly raises defense, lowers attack and causes immense damage to the enemy. And as Super Baby 2, massively raises attack for 3 turns and causes immense damage to the enemy. Not bad, I really like that. I do like that, uh, you know, he still maintains that stacking, but he lowers attack as Super Baby 1. It'll be interesting to see what exactly his transformation conditions will be. Uh, what is the passive? So, Baby Vegeta, Tuffle's Ambition, uh, Attack 100 and Defense 100, Roll, uh, Ruler and Servant Allies, 2 key and 20% attack and defense, plus an additional attack and defense 10% per Hybrid Saiyan or Pure Saiyan enemy. So, I assume that extra attack and defense enemy thing would be applied to the attack and defense of Baby Vegeta himself, not the path, not the um, support passive. If so, that's still really good, I think. Overall, I really like that he starts off as a support itself. It's just dependent on how many units will be in said category, right? Um, otherwise, I would prefer if he was an Inhuman Deed support instead, or if he was a uh, GT Bosses support instead, that would be much better. Super Baby 1, Planet Plant Reborn. Attack and defense, uh, 121, 160 respectively. Guard against all attacks when faced against a pure Saiyan, hybrid Saiyan, or Margin Power enemy. Like that, by the way, very much like that, of course, Majub, right? Um, I would think that would be part of Super Baby 2 because technically he didn't face any margin, I guess. Nah, he didn't really face any margin as far as I can recall. I'm probably forgetting him facing off margin, group, but yeah. Uh, gain an additional attack and defense 59% when faced with an uh, enemy whose name contains Goku GT. Nice. When targeted by a super attack, high chance to grant a random ally attacking in the same turn. 66% damage reduction temporarily and make them the target of the super attack. That is a really nice passive i must admit block rock very unique i like that i like that very nice very cool as well i must admit um overall really solid i don't think i have any issues with this this is actually really good and like i say you know 70 percent of the game is encompassed by hybrid and pure saints and not only that you add in modern power as well yeah it's a lot of people it's a lot of uh, opponents you're facing off there so 
uh, you're gonna get guard more so more often than not. So really good still. Super Baby 2, Crumbling Emperor. Attack 200% and defense 140% for 8 turns after transforming. Uh, super attacks are effective against all type. Oh, no, sorry. They're different. So he gets a passive straight, uh, straight up for 8 turns after transforming. Super attacks are effective against all types and performs a critical hit uh, when attacking a hybrid Saiyan or if a pure Saiyan and hybrid Saiyan ally is present. Oh, okay. So he'll perform a critical hit when there is a hybrid Saiyan or pure Saiyan in the attacking rotation. Nice. Uh, defense minus 30% if an ally or enemy whose name includes Majub is present. That's kind of a nice, little bit nice dunge, obviously, uh, because when he was, when Majub was inside Boo, uh, or not Boo, sorry, uh, Baby Vegeta, when he was in grade A form, he was attacking him from the inside, lowering his effective defense, right? So, really like that. I think that's really nice. Uh, active skill unit super slash transformation on third turn from start of battle transform baby vegeta to super baby one that's all good maybe turn it to turn two because it'll just be a bit faster but turn three is also fine um and his active skill perfection of the truffle race at sane expense can be activated from the sixth turn or from start of battle or at any time when faced against the hybrid sane or pure sane enemy transform from super baby one to super baby two and for one turn gain 30 percent attack and reduce all enemies attack by 59 percent very nice. I like that. Um, I would prefer if it was turn 2 and turn 5 respectively because that would be better. I still think you're going to get that transformation or active skill condition off many times. Especially against a hybrid scene or pure scene. Again, like I say, 70% or 80% of the game. Especially with the upcoming Legendary Vegeta event. So yeah. Uh, the links that he's gone for is Thirst for Conquest, Hatred of Saints, Big Bad Bosses, GT, Coward, Nightmare, Fierce Battle. As Super Baby 1, Coward becomes Metamorphosis. And in Super Baby 2, Nightmare becomes Saiyan Roar. Likey, me likey, me likey. The only issue I see with Saiyan Roar, and I don't remember this. I'd have to double check. Or somebody in the comments can correct me on this. Um, as much as I'm the Super Baby 2 fan, uh, I, I personally haven't checked into... Uh, I haven't checked uh, the babies of this game, to be honest. And I don't remember if Super Baby 2, before he Dokkan Awakens, the end one... He has Saiyan War or not, so I'd have to double check that. Uh, the categories are Ruler and Servant in Human Deeds, Artificial Life Forms, GT Bosses, Transformation Boost, Target Goku, Revenge, Space Traveling Warriors, Corroded Body and Mind, and Terrifying Conquerors. Again, I'm very much excited about this baby. I really like this kid. The uniqueness, the uh, power it's exuding, very much excited. And it's a good, like, in terms of, like, links and everything, super solid. One thing I'm hoping for, of course, this is just me on the side saying it. Banner units wise, Possessed Gohan and Goten, or Possessed Goten, or Possessed Trunks, any one of the three, I will say. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments section down below, what do you guys think of this card as well? Um, what is your banner unit? Uh, that's a question from myself. In the meantime, I'm going to hand it over to the next content creator, who will obviously be giving their verdict on another fan-made card. What is up, Fine 9 Gamers? And this is your boy, Kensei, and what we're doing is another fan-made video uh, submitted by you guys. So... I pick is number 17. Shout out to our boy Instinct Legends here for the submission. Of course, the name is Baby Vegeta. What is the typing of the units gonna be? Um, I do expect them to be either STR. I mean, STR has been getting a lot of buffs here lately, as well as AGL. So I do expect the tech to be the um, typing for this Baby Vegeta here. Otherwise, I would want is int. Int or tech. That would be my uh, preferred uh, typing for this unit here. So. Let's go over to leader skill here. So it's GT boss category, key plus three, HP attack and defense 170. Uh, that does make sense because remember, the only G GT boss we have so far is um, the battlefield, remember correctly, uh, LR Shadow Dragons and the LR uh, Super 17 that, that came out in the Gold Week. So I ex do expect for us to get a traditional or true leader, uh, leader skill for the GT bosses. And Baby Vegeta is the one uh, I would do think fits so that's a really good choice and the other uh category gonna be here is inhuman in deeds category keep us three eight attack and defense 150 um we don't really have a one seven leader scale for in, uh, inhuman in deeds so i do expect maybe potentially omega shenron being the leader scale for that but this does actually bring a lot of uh, synergy with gt boss category as well as inhuman in deeds so I do like this leader skill a lot here. So we're gonna go into the super attack name here. We got the Gala Gun for Everest Attack and Defense. Sorry, for attack. Cost the main damage to enemy for the I think that that's the base Vegeta. Sorry, base baby. Okay, that's pretty good. 
And then, of course, he will have a uh, transformation where he goes into, like, I think, like, turn three. Remember, I, we're going to take a, a look at that in the other section here. So, so baby one is a final flash. Right, so his defense and cause him to enemy. Okay. I do like that a lot. So, he switches from attack into defense. Okay. I, that's actually really good for me. And then baby two here. Flaming death ball. Right. So, attack and defense for one turn. Causes enemy damage to enemy. Sorry. Damage to enemy. Yep. And then seals super attack. Okay. Uh, that actually sounds really good that because he's going from stacking, but he does keep that 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 extra damage, and also he uh, keeps that um that, that extra defense. So that's gonna be really interesting. I do like that a lot. And of course, he wants his attack and defense for one turn once he goes into so maybe two. So that is a really good um. I do like this effect though. That's really good. So here we go with the uh, base baby Jitty here, and we're going to attack and defense 100% the start of turn. Reduces damage received by 20%. Okay. And it transforms when conditions are met. Okay. That's pretty good. And we got Sword Baby 1, which is Power of the Tuffles. Attack and Defense 120 at the start of turn. All right. That's really good. Very powerful. Reduces damage by 25%. Key plus 1 at the start of turn. Up to max of key plus, plus, wait, yeah, key plus 4. All right. That's actually insane. Um, I'm not too sure what what are the key links or the links for Baby Gita, so he might not have that many uh, key links. So that's actually good that he's gonna help him out himself out with the uh, stacking or up uh, this little key mechanic here. So that's really good. And then recovers 7% of HP at the end of turn in which an attack was received. All right, that's actually really good too as well. And a high chance of warning a critical hit when facing a Pierce Saints or a Hybrid Saints category enemy. So I do expect the baby Vegeta to have some kind of a hyper chance or pierce chains effect in it. So I like that that where he has like some of, of the cooler um, a mechanic or effect where he, he has a high chance to perform a critical hit against a pierce chain slash or a hyper saiyan um, category enemy. And then we go into super baby two here. All of the earth's revenge attack and defense 150. All right. At the start of turn and then reduces damage received by 30%. Key plus one at the, at the start of turn. Up to max of key plus five. Okay, it recovers at ten percent HP at the end of turn, in which it is, in which an attack was received. Okay, launching an additional attack, which has a minimum chance of uh, becoming a, a super attack, and it has a great chance of performing a critical hit. All right, when facing a pure saints or hybrid saints category uh, category enemy. All right, that's really good. So it went from a fifty percent chance to a seventy percent chance. That is actually really good, actually. And then the last part here is attack and defense. Sorry, attack and defense. Attacks affected against all types as the first attack or the second attacker in the turn. Okay, so lately these units, like these brand new Dokkan units, have been having some kind of attacks affecting effect against all types lately. So I do expect that this would do to have some, some kind of effect the Gogeta mechanic thing as well. So it actually makes these Dokkan Fest units a lot more valuable. So yeah, this is actually really good. I do expect this to, it's going to be a similar way to Kale uh, to Kefla, where she goes into her base form or she's in her base form as a Tia War and then transforms like for the third turn, go to Super Saiyan. And of course the next turn she transform into the Super Saiyan 2 form. So I do expect this baby to have that similar, um, a mechanic or transformation where you're going to activate the after skill when you are super baby one and then he has like word saying and then he'll go into super baby two all right so let's go into the, the conditions for the after skill here so transforming to be uh super baby one entering the next turn okay it's better than uh than kefla here and then well actually no i think that's the same thing as kefla i'm not too sure i think it's like after three turns i'm not too sure about kefla but i think it's similar to that and of course, the after skill is can be used during when the next turn, uh, entering the next turn. So he can be so basically what he's saying here is that turn three, you, you can go into Super Baby 2. That is good. That is actually really good. If this has this mechanic here, uh, uh, sorry, th this condition, that is really good. All right. And, here, and we got the links here. So the base Vegeta here, Baby Vegeta, is going to be. Hatred of Saints, GT, Metamorphosis, Thirst for Conquest, Fierce Battle, Shock and Speed, and Brutal Beatdown. Uh, okay, that's really good links for the Baby Vegeta here. And we go to Super Baby 1 here, GT, Metamorphosis, uh, Thirst for Conquest, Fierce Battle, Brutal Beatdown, Shocking Speed. Okay, 
Oh, actually, they both have sh shocking speeds. And also, uh, this one has Brutal Beatdown, but this one has Nightmare. Okay, Nightmare and Brutal... Okay. Um, that's really good for this, uh, for the, uh, first form here. And then we got the second form. Big Bad Bosses. Yes, yes. Metamorphosis, GT, F uh, Fierce Battle, Thirst for Conquest, Brutal Beatdown, and a Shadow, Shadow Limit. Uh, maybe you do not... <laughs> I don't think that's unless it's that's a. I'm pretty sure he did he did not meant to push on the limit, so I do expect at least nightmare to be in. Like I think nightmare should be in there, but Chun limit. Uh, I don't think he's a, a, a like a Chun limit unit at all. So I'm curious about that. All right, and what the categories are going to be is an in, inhuman in deeds, transformation boost, GT bosses, space traveling warriors, artificial life forms, revenge, Burger Goku. Terrifying Conquerors, Final Trump Card, and Corrupted Body and Mind. Okay, so the only thing that I would change those categories, oh, sorry, his links is, I uh, think Nightmare, that, or Fear and Faith. I think Fear and Faith, I don't think all the babies have Fear and Faith, but I think Nightmare is going to, yeah, this should be kept here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure why he pushed on the limit here. I think he might put uh, something else here, so. Other than that, I do love this uh, design for baby uh, Vegeta here. Because remember, we need some good tech units. I mean, usually tech units get the shaft. Uh, these past Dokkan on fast. We got Tech Janemba, who's not the greatest, like not the greatest, but the rich one who got was like the greatest tech unit was Super Seventeen as an LR. So, uh, yeah. Other than that, guys, um, would I change anything else? No, nothing at all. It's really good. I do expect uh, I do expect this unit to be a really good unit. And of course, the anniversary of uh, the. the, the the celebration after this is going to be the worldwide campaign so this does mean that we're going to get something GT related to the worldwide campaign so all right guys thank you for watching and of course i'll see you next time peace what is going on my dudes tester here back again with the five nine gang for some more fan made cards and this time we're talking about dokkan fest baby in Vegeta. um too bad i can't give credit unless your name is someone um so shout out to someone for uh this unit that they uh built up actually it's pretty dope uh so of course it's a baby vegeta transforming into super baby one uh typing tech i like tech i think that tech needs a little bit more support so that kind of works out for me all right here's what i was mainly looking for because you could do artificial life forms but i wanted to see something a little different uh gt bosses definitely needs uh 170 lead so gt bosses key plus three HP at uh, 150 percent and attack and defense plus 170 percent. I think that's a good one. Um, I would have liked uh, it to all be 170 percent, but I'll take the attack and defense or in human deeds key plus three HP attack and defense plus 150 percent. Not a bad sub lead uh, leader skill, but it's good. So uh, super attacks. Gallic Gun raises defense and causes immense damage to the enemy. I think that's a wonderful one. It looks like he's going for a raises stack defense right there, so that's great. Uh, Super Baby 1, Final Flash, greatly raises attack for three turns, causes immense damage to the enemy, and lowers attack. I think that's a really good uh, transformation. Super attack, pretty good. Raises attack for three turns, that's awesome. And of course, causes the immense damage and lo lowers attack. Again, I'm still I'm still the type of person that thinks that lowering attack doesn't really do much when it comes to events, but I digress. Uh, all right, let's go into the passives. Baby Vegeta attack and defense plus 100%, and additional attack and defense plus 100%, and key plus three when there is a pure Saiyan's enemy. Great chance of ah, great chance to perform an additional attack, which has a high chance to be a super attack when there is a hybrid Saiyan enemy. GT bosses and human deeds category allies key plus two back and defense plus twenty percent. Now, you could have made you could have even done something with artificial life forms in that passive, I think. But I think that works perfect for GT bosses and human deeds, uh, especially since it works well with anybody that hates Saiyans. So, like this almost seems like a kind of revamped version of Cooler, I guess in a sense. Uh, Super Baby One transformation. Attack and defense plus 150%. Additional attack and defense plus 150%. And key plus 3 when there is a pure Saiyan's enemy. Guaranteed to perform an additional super attack, which has a great chance of performing critical hit when there is a hybrid Saiyan's enemy. Covers 10% of HP each turn. 
GT bosses. Sorry. GT bosses and in human deeds category allies key plus three and attack defense plus forty percent. Now, I do like that you upped the stats mainly for the passive, and then you only added the extra recovers ten percent HP turn. Granted, you know you did add the differences when it came to a bit of just an additional attack and a high chance of super attack, uh, additional super attack plus a great chance for critical hit. I think that's really good when it comes to like passives. I think that a lot of Dokkan cards go into like, okay, well, they're going into this form. They have to completely change their passive. Just giving it boost to those, to the passive itself, I think is a wonderful thing. Especially since this passive ability already is really good. Transforms that much more amazing. Transformation into Super Baby 2 can be activated on the first turn. Then start a battle, or from the start of battle, if there's a pure sans enemy. I like that. I actually really like that restriction because turn four is not too bad. Uh, you'll always get to turn four in most of, or not always. You'll get to turn four in a lot of events. The only thing I would say is story and the story quest events. So honestly, that's perfect in my opinion. Uh, Thirst for conquest, metamorphosis, big bad bosses, GT. Hatred of Saiyans, Coward, Fierce Battle, Link stay the same after transformation, so that's all your Link skills. Uh, good Link set, uh, easy to get to um, Link level 10 as well. Uh, and then categories, Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Form, Seraphine Conquerors, Target Goku, Revenge, Inhuman Deeds, Base Traveling Warriors, Corroded Body and Mind, and Deep Boss. Now again, I like the fact that we're getting another Extreme Tech, and this one th I think is actually really good, and it'll put tech... Uh, a little bit higher on the map. I don't think that tech, or at least extreme tech, gets a lot of love. So I would definitely like to see this come to fruition to some degree. But uh, thank you to, again, someone on uh, Twitter or whatever your screen name is. Um, whoever actually did do this, um, if it, unless it is someone, I feel bad if I'm just, you know, selected. But whoever did this, you know, great job, great card in my opinion. I absolutely love it. So that's going to be it for me. Catch you guys in the next one. Hey guys, me again. So last but not least, we have the entry from Super Barduck. So shout out to you for your submission. Uh, his unit is going to be a baby Vegeta that transforms straight to Super Baby 2. So the unit is going to be Extreme Int. So for a mono team like Battlefield or ESBR, he has obviously a good linking partner in the existing uh, Extreme Int Super Baby 2. Uh, the leader skill is in Human Deeds, 4 key, HP, Attack and Defense, 150, or GT Bosses, 3 key, HP, Attack and Defense, 170. So, I think that's a very good combo of leader skills. You could definitely make some very interesting team builds with that. Uh, his super attacks, so pre-transformation, he does the Revenge Final Flash, greatly raises defense, causes immense damage to the enemy, and gives all allies 33% defense. And then after his transformation, he has the reverse shot, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage to the enemy, and greatly lowers attack. So actually, yeah, by rereading it again, so greatly raises defense, there is no turn specification. So pre-transformation, he infinitely stacks defense, which is very good. And then for the passive, he has key three, defense 160% at the start of the turn, his pre-transformation, attack 150 when performing a super, he guards all attacks when facing a pure or hybrid Saiyan enemy. GT bosses, allies, key 2, attack and defense, 30%, and chance of performing an additional attack, 20%. So that's interesting. We've seen the ability to give other allies, like, crit chance before, but giving them an additional attack chance is definitely very interesting. Extreme class allies, key 2, attack and defense, 15%. So he has some support utility outside of a GT bosses team, and then on a GT bosses team... Uh, the extreme allies that are also GT bosses are going to be getting 4 key and 45% support. So that's very powerful. And then after transforming, he has key 4, defense 200% at start of turn. Attack 200 when performing a super. Performs 2 additional attacks, each of which have a high chance of becoming a super attack when facing a pure or hybrid Saiyan enemy. Uh, high chance of countering enemy super attack when there are 3 or more extreme class allies on the team. GT bosses allies key 3, attack 50 and defense 10. So you can counter super attacks, you're probably going to be running a full extreme team with him all the time anyway, so that makes a lot of sense. 
And then uh, GT bosses are getting all of the support after transforming. Full on attack mode, 50% attack and only 10% defense. And no support for general extreme class allies. So he has a sort of similar situation to Kula and Bojack. But he still is providing some support after transforming. But he's definitely going into full on damage mode with these additional attacks. Countering supers. Very, very powerful. And then his transformation could be activated from the third turn. And then he has an active skill, which is the Revenge Death Ball. Massively raises attack for one turn, does ultimate damage to the enemy. And you can use this uh, the turn after the character has transformed. So if you choose to transform on turn three, you can use it on turn five and so on. So very, very good. And then his links, Fierce Battle, Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses, GT, Thirst for Conquest, Hatred of Saiyans, and Shocking Speed. And then his categories, Terrifying Conquerors, Transformation Boosts, Artificial Life Forms, GT Bosses, Target Goku, Revenge, Inhuman Deeds, space traveling warriors and corroded body and mind so there you go very very powerful baby card from super bardock but considering the uh, power creep that we've been having recently it's not wholly unrealistic that the card could be this good so let us know down below who was your favorite out of all the fan made cards if your one didn't make it in then please do try again and you could be featured in the next episode so make sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a comment down below to let us know which card was your favorite and stay tuned to five nine gaming across all of our socials so you don't miss any of these updates in the future and i will see you all again soon peace out